Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thank you so much for following and watching my videos. I do want to just take a quick moment to say um, I'm sorry. I The channel has kind of gone all over the place. You know, as some of you know, I recently had um, a death in the family. My baby brother, my only my only sibling, um, passed away unexpectedly. Appendicitis. So if you guys feel pain, please go to the doctor. Um, they weren't op able to operate on time anyway. I have been in a crazy brain fog. I haven't posted any videos. I um, so anyway, I'm making my way back. I just wanted to thank you for your patience with comments and questions and all of that. I'm trying to get someone to go through it. So anyway, I know life happens and this is a professional account and not a personal account, but I just wanted to throw that out there so that you guys can just, um, you've always been so wonderful, but I really just wanted to thank you for your patience as I make my way through this craziness and get back into my daily life. All right, so we are gonna do something fun today. I wanted to make stickers, and part of making stickers, because I see this question all the time about bleed, no bleed, and I feel like it's still such a pain point for, for some of you guys. So let's start by, first of all, I feel like this happens a lot, where you see an image that you like, so it's a PNG file or a JPEG, and we're going to kind of maybe add to it and I'm gonna show you all that stuff. So let's go to uploads. So I recently rebranded, right? So you guys may recognize some of this stuff right here. So I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna bring these files in, okay? So, um, and the great thing about the offset feature that is finally available in Design Space is that now so many projects will be so much easier because I used to do the offset in Inkscape. Now everything can be done in Design Space. So let's make this a little bit smaller. So sometimes when you bring things in, it's going to be gigantic, right? And we know it's gigantic because you can look at the size. It's 30 inches, 33 inches wide. And so like almost three feet long and two feet high, right? So I just quickly go in here and just type in 10, right? So at 10 inches, everything gets resized and now we can kind of deal with these pieces. So let's pull this aside. So actually what I brought in, these are actually SVG files. Originally they were, oh no, this one's a print and cut, okay. So this is like a JPEG that was brought in, okay? So I can't make any changes to it. I can't change, for instance, the stars to be a different color. If you brought this, if you have an option and you can bring them in as an SVG file, then you can make changes to these individual parts. And I will show you that in a second. So actually, I'll do it on this one. So you see this one over here? When I click on it and it's highlighted, so you know this is the one that we're working on, on our right-hand side in the panel, it's now selected. So it's this gray, you know, um, all these pieces, right? And the difference is you can see the whites, these are not part of the selected image. So that means on this individual one, for instance, this purple, I can go and change it to yellow if I wanted to, right? I can just go find these individual pieces and start making changes to it. So that's the nice thing about having an SVG file. Even if in the end, I'm not gonna cut them individually, right? I'm going to still make a sticker. It's still gonna be a, uh, a flattened image and I'm still gonna use print and cut. If you brought it in as an SVG file, you can make a lot more changes to it. So, um, for instance, let's go back to here. Let's just change a few more things just so that you get the idea. So here's my dress. I'm gonna change my dress to, I don't know, feeling kind of cheeky today, orange, <laughs> right? So what you would do then is, now this is, this is a really good example um, because these are individual pieces. So when people tell you, and I get this, I see this question all the time, if you want just one sticker, right? You don't want each one of these uh, rainbow pieces to be a separate piece because you don't want to um, 
basically put together a puzzle later, right? On your, let's say this is a sticker and you wanna put it on your notebook. You don't wanna lay each individual piece down, right? You want one sticker, like one piece that you can pull off. So what you need to do is the way it is right now, it's not gonna work. It's gonna cut out each individual piece. You need to lay a background to it. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. So actually I'm gonna copy this a few times because I'm gonna show you the different ways that you can turn this into a sticker. So I'm gonna move that out of the way and I'm gonna make, whoops, I'm gonna make one more copy. Okay, so right now it's all grouped together. So when you click on it, you can make the copy and it's all good. Okay, so the first way is I'm just gonna bring in a square. I'm gonna make this a square sticker and I'm gonna make it white. So it's gonna be in the background, okay? So I'm gonna unlock it so that I can make it more rectangular and fit behind my sticker, okay? So my sticker disappeared, right? Or my image disappeared. So I wanna make this sticker. And for now, I'm just gonna turn this into a gray just so that we can see it a little bit better, okay? And then I'm gonna arrange and send it to the back. So you see now I have a background to it. So when I cut this sticker, it's gonna cut me a rectangle. That's the most basic, right? It doesn't look good, but anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna change this now to white. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this whole thing and I'm gonna flatten. So when I flatten it, I'm taking all the individual pieces and I'm making it into one. And you know it's one piece because look, it used to be like 20 items here, right? It's now a single line item. It's gonna cut with a, with a white square background my sticker is gonna be a square. It's gonna look exactly like this, okay? Now, right now, there's a little warning sign because it's too big. If you're doing print and cut in design space, you're limited to 6.75 by 9.25 inches. So, so if you were, here's the thing, if you were to do stickers and it's gonna be just a plain square, um, I wouldn't use design space because then I would go to maybe Canva and that way I'm just gonna take my paper cutter and chop it up. I don't need my, my Cricut to do anything if I'm just cutting a square or a rectangle. I can do that with a paper cutter. Then that way I can use my full sticker sheet, my full eight and a half by 11. So that's my little piece. All right, so here's sticker number one. You can make it look like this. The other option is, let's go down to this piece. I like this option more. So this, what we're gonna do is we are going to do an offset. So when you go to offset, this little line right here is your zero. When you're on zero, there's no offset. If you go to the right of that line, the offset gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm gonna show you right now, it's at 0.25 inches. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the ball and you can see it just got bigger. Oh, it doesn't look that much bigger. There it is, okay, there it's bigger, right? So now you can see, look, it's a nice outline. I'm gonna apply this one, even though it's way big and I don't like it, but I wanna show you. So when you do the offset, it defaults to black, so we can ch easily change that. Let's change it to a light blue, just for the heck of it, so we can see it better. I like the offset because look, it's still it's now one piece, right? It's gonna cut and it's just a nice outline of exactly what the what the layout is. So to me, if you're gonna sell stickers or if you want stickers to put, you know, like on my daughter's stuff, sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm adjusting myself. Um I like this. This to me looks more like a store-bought sticker than the square one that we just did, okay? So I've already applied this. What you would then need to do is now you would grab this. If you wanna make any changes to this, you can change it to the white background, um, you know, whatever color. But now we're gonna grab everything and we're gonna flatten again. So now all those layers are gonna flatten to one sticker and oh, see the F is the same color, so that doesn't look good, right? So all you do is you unflatten. I'm gonna change that F. So let's see. 
Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where is my uh? There. I'm gonna change that to. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna grab this whole thing and I'm going to flatten. Okay. So that's another option. Let's go up and. So here's option number one, is just a square, right? So we can do that sticker, we can do this sticker, a nice offset, and then we have one more option, which is not another option. I don't know why I did three. Um, you can make it a thinner offset, so let's scroll over a little bit so that we can see what that looks like. I personally don't like the gigantic offset. I really like the, the minimal ones. So let's look at this and see what it would look like. So you click on offset. You can either use the ball to move this back and forth, or for me, I like the offset at point 0.1. So I'm gonna do that. Now at point 0.1, this is, um, you know what? This is a good example. Let's apply it. And so you see the sticker, everything is, it's not connected because when this cuts, my green rainbow is not touching everything else. The green rainbow, the blue one, these smaller ones aren't touching anything. So the scissors and the dots are connected as well as these two, right? And then I, I think that might be connected right there. So I'm connected to useless, the is connected there, and crafter is connected. So our options are to undo this because otherwise you're gonna have these three pieces are not gonna pull off nicely, right? Um, so let's go back, uh, what do I wanna do? I want to delete the offset. And so we know 0 0.10 is not a big enough offset to connect the whole sticker. So in this case, let's go to 0 0.20 and see if that connects everything. So at 0 0.20, okay, so now everything connects, right? Okay, so let's apply this because it's still a good lesson. I wanna show you a couple of things. Um, I'm gonna change this to not black, but a lighter color just so that we can see it, but not, okay. Now, with this offset, do you see that there's some little cuts there, right? I personally don't like it. I also don't like this cut right here and here. So what I would recommend doing is, this is the offset right here, it's already selected, go to contour. Now in contour, we have a couple things that we can do. We can get rid of those small cuts, which I definitely wanna do. So you can either click on it here and get rid of those cuts, or you can click on it over here. You can find those pieces. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna click hide all first. And I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller so we can see the whole thing. Now, these, there must be like a little hole, so it's not enclosed. So that's why these are pieces that we can't hide out. So uh, for me, I think I wanna get rid of all these small ones, but I like this big one. This big one kinda matches these pieces, and maybe this one and this one, okay? So now I'm gonna click, I'm gonna exit out of it. And so see, I got rid of all the small ones but there's still gonna be a big hole here and here, and I think that's okay. But what's nice is my whole sticker is gonna be one piece, and that's important to me. So, oh shoot, let me undo that. I thought it was all flattened together, but it wasn't. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this whole thing, and I'm gonna flatten, so it becomes one sticker. So you see, here's sticker number three that we just did. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Here's sticker number two, it's all flattened, and sticker number one. So we did this. So that's the easiest way that if you bring in an SVG file, you can make changes to it, you can add a shape behind it. Um, so now you know. All right, let's, you know what? I'm gonna do one more. Let's do this one, and I'm gonna do it where it's not 
there's no background so you can see what that looks like so let me duplicate it because when we go to the cut screen I do want to show you the differences let's unflatten it okay and we're gonna get rid of the background where's my offset okay so there's my offset I'm gonna delete that okay but I'm going to flatten this so that you can see what it looks like when we go to the cut screen. Okay, so now we've got our four stickers. Um, I'm not gonna do this one because this is basically what we just did. Now this is, a it's coming in as a print and cut already because it was a JPEG or a PNG file. So we can't make any changes to the color, but we can still add to this. So this is what I did for my daughter before. So I'm gonna do it again because I think we want some stickers. So let's click on the text. I'm gonna add her name on the top, okay? So I'm gonna do a caps lock. And let's do a cute little font. And do popcorn. So I changed the font, right? So it's cutesy. I'm gonna make it smaller so it kind of fits with this. And then I'm gonna put it right around here and I'm going to curve it. So it's gonna, you know, kind of follow. I think I need to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So I curved it, kind of matches the whole thing, right? I'm gonna change. If you want to, we can unlock it uh, or ungroup it. We can either change the whole thing to one color. So let's do that now just so that you can see what it looks like. We could do that or we can click on it and ungroup it and now change each individual letter. So because we added the text. It was not part of the PNG file, so we can still make little edits to it right now. So you can kind of see we can do that. Um, I'm just gonna change it to all the different colors. And sorry, this is gonna take a while. I'm just clicking on different ones. Um, I'll keep that one red. Let's change that one to, I don't even know my colors right now. I'm just picking colors and then we're almost done here okay so I did a bunch of different colors okay and let's say we want to add um, let's add a little a little heart in there as well I mean I just love I love making stickers because you can make them look like store-bought stickers and they look amazing you can put them anywhere all right, I'm gonna unlock this heart because I don't like this shape. I'm gonna make it a little bit more fatter, I guess. And I'm gonna put it inside the star. So it needs to be even smaller. Oop. Okay, I did horrible uh, with that heart, but that's okay. I'm gonna do it purple. Okay, make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to duplicate it. I just want to show you all the different things that you can do. I mean, we can, you know, you can add a ton more stuff. But and it's going to look as if the sticker was created all together. I don't think it's going to look like, oh, we added the name Charlotte. So look at the hearts, right? Like I rearranged them so it looks like it's part of the thing. Um all right. So now the letters if you remember from the previous lesson they're not connected right so i want to give this a background i'm going to do an offset i i like my offset so let's go and click on offset um let's click on point one and see if that will work i think it will work so i applied okay it does work everything's going to be connected so now this one i'm going to make it white so you can't really see it right now, but I'm going to flatten it. All right, so let's make all these a little bit smaller. Um, oh. 
Okay, um, I'm gonna save it. Just stickers. And let's go to the Make It page. And we'll talk about the bleed, no bleed. Um, okay, so saved, let's go to Make It. And when you do uh, print and cut and flattening images, it does take a while, like design space, I don't know, I don't really know what's going on behind the scenes, but it, it feels like every piece that you add to that sticker, it's taking up thinking power of design space. And is it thinking? Oh yeah, because it's grayed out. So it may take a couple seconds, a couple minutes, we'll see. But, um, oh, here we go. So here's the thing. Your Cricut machine is not going to print these stickers. It needs to go to a printer. So you're going to print it on your printer. Then you're going to take it back and put it on a mat, you know, like a green sticky mat or whatever. And then you're going to stick it into your Cricut maker or machine so that it can cut the outline for you as designed. Okay. So that's, I get a lot where it's like, well, you know, I want my Cricut to print, but there's no ink cartridges or anything. So like you have to send it to your printer to get it printed. All right. It's still thinking. Okay. Here we go. Now, I always like to do bleed on for the most part. There are going to be times when you don't need bleed on. Usually it's for my HTV projects where you print. Okay. So let's look at these individual pieces. This one, the way it's going to cut is it's going to cut this outline of the peach. Okay. And everywhere white, it's not going to cut. Um, this one, I can't tell if this is the square or not. And then here's my Charlotte. It's going to have the image. You just can't see it because it's on white. Let's look at this one. Okay. It's thinking, but here's the difference. Cause I remember one of them didn't have a background at all. So what it would cut is when you do bleed on, it's going to cut my image. It's going to cut useless by itself. T H E is going to cut individually. It's going to cut out the T, the H, and then the E same as your individual dots. We don't want that, right? Like you don't want to peel off each dot and put down onto what your notebook or something. So that's why I wanted to show you what that would look like. Um, I always keep, again, I keep bleed on because it, it will then cut it. For instance, on this one, it will cut the blue. So you're not going to have a white outline at all because the bleed is on. It made the blue go out a little bit further than where it's going to cut. So you're not going to have blue and then a white outline. You're going to have blue. All right. That's all I have for you. What you would do is you would click on continue and you're going to send to the printer. Here's the next thing when it comes to printing. You need good quality sticker papers. Um, I love needle products, so it's on my link. Um, I do have the, the discount. It's FANS25, it gives you 25% off. But if you're watching this video and it's still August, August has a 30% off. So don't use, use my link, because I will still get credit for you guys using the link, but don't use my code. Use um, I'm going to find it for you right now. Give me one second. I'm going to look it up on my phone. So use whatever code I'm about to tell you because it will give you 30% off. Um, August 30. So I don't know if I will actually get credit if you use August 30, but I want you to have the extra 5% off. <laughs> so it's worth it. Um, so August 30 will get you 30% off. I literally have probably 200 sheets of stickers ready to be used. That's, I bought it in advance because I love them. I love their sticker paper. I use the white glossy. The white glossy is, um, waterproof. Um, and it just prints beautifully. Okay. So that's number one. Number one is, you know, good quality paper. Number two 
is make sure that your printer settings is on its highest quality. So you want to match that. It's not within Cricut, okay? It's not within Design Space. It's your regular computer settings. You want to make sure that you're printing on high quality and the correct one. So I choose, you know, glossy. I think it's like premium glossy. It will print out literally look like stickers that you bought at a crafting store, at Michael's, at Joann's, at Target. The stickers look amazing. So anyway, that's my PSA. Thank you so much. Let me know what you think, comments, questions, post them. Um, and again, I really, you know, through this difficult time in my life, like I feel very lucky that I have this crafting community. Um, I have crafting for just my own sanity and um, the interaction that I've had with everyone who's reached out has really made it a lot easier for me. So thank you and I will see you guys later.